How are you? Safe and lucky to have survived the horrific night, a billionaire philanthropist Manu Chandaria and his wife Aruna Chandaria. They make their way into their Muthaiga residence to assess the situation after they were whisked to safety last night. Sources privy to the investigations revealed that the robbers held the couple at gunpoint demanding 10 million shillings in cash before Chandaria pointed to a safe containing 600,000 Kenya shillings. The guards who are on duty at the time are in police custody of what police suspect to be a robbery bearing the hallmarks of an inside job. Administration Police Constable Jared Omboga and G4S guards Judah Wafula and Stephen Omwega are in police custody of what detectives term glare gaps in their statements. According to the three suspects, the gang numbering eight who are on foot first accosted G4S guard Stephen Omwega before stripping him of his uniform. One of the robbers is reported to have donned Omwega's uniform before heading to the guard dog handler Judah Wafula. He is said to have persuaded Wafula to tie up the dog before approaching him. Wafula was also attacked and stripped. The robbers are then said to have headed straight to police constable Jared Omboga, who was reportedly asleep the whole time. They took his gun and at gunpoint ordered him to hand over his jacket and trousers. Beaten and stripped, the three claimed to have been tied up to Together. The robbers then gained entry into Chandaria's house through the rear door. Upon hearing a loud bang, the philanthropist unsuccessfully tried to reach the guards before signaling the police. A fierce gunfight ensued when police arrived before the robbers escaped into Karura Forest. They made away with 600,000 Kenya shillings in an assortment of jewelry of an unknown value. It is a robbery incident that left more questions than answers in its wake. As investigators continue to piece together evidence, what puzzles them the most is how the three were tied up without any injuries inflicted on them. The guards also had a difficult time explaining how their attackers offered them a change of clothes, leaving the police officer in his boxes before tying them up. But a look around the compound did not show any signs of forced entry. The three are expected in court Tuesday, even as police continue searching for the eight suspects who are said to have disappeared into Karura Forest. Hassan Mugambe, Citizen TV.